As the veil thinned, the shape-shifting witch provided protection. Sacred ground elevated the ancestors who walked there. The reality of here and now became more malleable. Once we saw the threads connecting everyone and everything, we were able to hop along timelines like birds along branches. We maintain our equilibrium with a focus on balance and grounding. As the veil is lifted, third eye vision reveals further mysteries and a need for healing. When working these threads, whether with fingers, claws, or talons, the most intentional and magical touch must be applied. Exchange of energy complete. The most powerful guides grace our altar. Sacred tools, a wand, a key. Unlock the most vital of messages. Welcome. You entered our thoughts hours ago. Have you been hearing us as well? Wonderful. Leave it open a moment, would you? Let us weather this storm together in safety. It feels freeing, doesn't it? If your heart's desire is a pair of wings, you will have them one day. We see your powers of manifestation. Close the door and open your eye now. Beautiful job. Come near to the fire and sit. It's good to have you back. Your ring has been charging with very special stones. We will add it to the cauldron. But first, you've arrived just in time for the veil's lifting. The balance of light and dark is revealed as vital, necessary healing. We see our most powerful guide is ready to be seen. The skull holds a spirit, ancient, 
timeless, ageless. Archimedes. Filled with riddles and wisdoms, vows to provide us with the ladder tonight. Yes, you are right. First things first, the cauldron calls. Your moonstone ring has been sitting in noble Shungite. These stones from Russia are nearly two billion years old. Made of up to 98% carbon, the building block of all life. Shungite is a powerful purifier of water and thus of stagnant emulsion. We sensed a need for this energy. The ring was a gift from your mother. There is grief and a need for healing in this connection. We honor that. We ask that you apply your focus and the magic during our time together to healing anything you deem ready to be healed. potent bit of ancestral magic is required, a single drop of our fey blood to bind, root, and elevate this spell. there. The spell yet brews. However, the spirits are very generous tonight. We are able to take a look at the progress. We are being called to pull a few items to view in the orb. Wing of butterfly, fallen prey. Wing of bird, fallen predator. Archimedes claims this strange stone for his message. Double strand of ancestral crystals, symbol of repressed pleasure and joy, a loved item never worn becomes neglected. Let us settle in and see what spirit shows of our hindsight is 2020 spell.
It began as everything does, in the darkness that makes the place between ending and beginning. In darkness, all things are possible. Potential activates and excites. Rings of warning, change is here. So little time to adjust, and yet, We've been preparing our entire lives. Take a moment now to honor how far you've come, how much you have overcome. Allow us to see and acknowledge you in your entirety and all you have lived up to this very moment. Do not fear the dark. Here is where transformation takes place. On the brink. What is it we are on the brink of? Without balance, the light is blinding. Ignorance, illusion, and denial distort vision and intention. The dark becomes consuming, depression and despair, or apathy, deplete motivation and hope. We see a better way, an opportunity, a portal to a new age. Beyond the binary, balance becomes an act of relative ease. See what is possible in this place. What is possible for you? when obstacles are removed. What dream do you dare to live? How do you want to feel? How do you want to help others? What will heal you? What will make you happy? What will make you whole? Reclaim immense power, 
Imagination is not a tool of distraction, but a tool of creation. What do you see? We are asked to think about all our ancestors dreamed and imagined, all they created, the collective manifestation into which we were born. Did they have foresight? Did they use hindsight? What vital piece were they missing? We think and ponder without rest. How? How do we heal? What is the key? Hmm, not here. Here, this wand balances the energy of the ring from your mother. This wand is made from special materials, including a ruby ring from our father. Let us see how Archimedes responds. He works with cauldron and orb, generator, projector, and interpreter.
This key, binded and bound by the power of three, will reveal to us what is to be. Seeking peace and healing, a closer look will surely reveal the mystery. Released from clenched jaw and ground teeth, Archimedes quotes poet Phyllis McGinley. Of one thing I am certain, the body is not the measure of healing, peace is the measure. We believe strongly that the ability to heal lies within us all. This power has been demeaned and distorted. Wounded ones with distorted sight have taken the name Healer for themselves, used it to empower themselves while deceiving others. This is not healing. This is not healer. The willing and open accept healing energy. The brave and bold take the fuel of trauma and transmute it into the vibration required to treat the wound. This power is in you, precious one. Archimedes reminds us of the importance of an open mind and a limitless imagination. He fills his skull with dreams of the cosmos, of endless space, dark skies filled with stars, potential, and possibilities. We are to remain open and release fear of the unknown. We may impose our deepest spiritual beliefs on our own lives, only our own. It is the nature of the free-willed being to connect to Source in their unique manner, and to interfere is disrespect and distortion. Channel your magic through your channels in your way. Fully embody your higher spiritual self that you may live fully, fulfilling your intended purpose. You are the only one who can. These messages, this sight, is to be sealed in sound. The 64 Hertz tuning fork to vibrate healing down to the bone, grounding, rooting our spiritual strengths spiritual connections into our physical reality. Listen with us.
Sealing sight in sound. Sealing sight in sound. Sealing sight in sound. Be sure to give your gaze to the sentry flame on the way out. We are complete. 